This is tutorial number 63, and it covers how to use the chamfer feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up tutorial part number 59, which is located on the DVD. Now the chamfer feature can be found in the toolbar over here, or if you go to insert, dress up features, and you can find the chamfer right here. So the chamfer, it works uh, pretty much the same as the fillet that we were using in the past few tutorials, and what it does is it uses the edges and it'll create a chamfer uh, rather than a fillet like we did in the previous ones. So let's start doing some. Let's click the chamfer tool and you're able to uh, flip through some of the modes. So you can have a length and angle or you can have a length and length. So it's just two different ways that you're able to uh, position and determine what your uh, chamfer will be and what it will look like. So for the first one let's just do a length and angle. So let's do it to this edge here. So we'll click this edge here. And you can see right now what we have is a one millimeter uh, length at a 45 degree angle. Now let's change this to 10. Click preview. So we can see that green triangle is going to be what our chamfer is going to look like. So right now it's at 1045. Let's click OK. And now we've cut out the chamfer there. Now let's open the part body, and you can find the chamfer in the part body there. If you double click on it, you're able to adjust some of it. So let's change the angle to 70 degrees. Click OK, and now it's swept back there, 70 degrees. Click it again. Let's do it 20 degrees. Click OK, and now it's swept down 20 degrees. So you're able to play around with these dimensions even after you've already made your part. Now on the outer edges such as this, you're going to be taking away material, and if we do an inner edge here, we're going to be adding material. So let's click the chamfer, and let's click the inner edge here. We'll make it 45. Click OK, and you can see that we've added material there. Now let's try and do one that's the distance distance. So let's click chamfer. So we'll do the length length, distance distance. And what you're going to get is you're going to get two lengths. So if I click this line here, and if you zoom in, you can see that I've got, uh, for my length one, it's 10. For my length two, it's one. And it's just going to create it. So if I did a 10 by 10, click preview, really that's a uh, the same as having a 10 millimeter chamfer with a 45 degree angle. So it's just a different way that you're able to uh, parameterize your chamfer definition. And let's click OK. And you can see that it cut out a 10 by 10 and it's also like a 1045. Now you're able to do more than uh, one edge at a time. So let's select a few multiple edges. So let's click the chamfer tool. And let's click this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And let's make it 10 by 10. Click preview. And it'll give you a preview of what it's going to look like. Click OK, and we've chamfered it off with a 10 by 10. Now you're also able to choose an entire face. So let's choose this entire face here. So we'll click the chamfer tool. Click this face here, and we're going to do 10 and 10 all around. Click OK, and it's done a 10 and 10 all around. Now again, uh, clicking on a face, it uh, saves you some time as all you have to do is click once on the face rather than clicking four uh, separate edges going all the way around the face. Now let's do one that's around the circle here at the base. So let's click the chamfer tool and let's click the length angle and we'll click the circle down there, make it 10 and 45, click OK and it's created uh, material and it's added a chamfer to the bottom. Now let's do the same to the top here. Let's click chamfer click the circle, click OK, and again we've added another chamfer to the top there. So the chamfer tool, it works pretty much exactly the same as the uh, edge fillet. So you're selecting a single edge, multiple edges, or a face to create a fillet or a chamfer. And with the chamfer you have the option of using a length and angle or two lengths to create your chamfer. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the chamfer feature within Katia V5.